Something has appeared in the earliest corners of the universe. Not stars. Not galaxies. But something so strange, so luminous, and so impossibly compact that it shook the very foundation of cosmology. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden gaze toward the edge of time itself, it captured a sight no one expected. The cosmic canvas, 13 billion years away, was dotted with countless red embers, tiny crimson points glowing like coals left behind by some ancient fire. But these weren't galaxies as we knew them. They weren't clusters of stars bound gently by gravity. They were something else entirely. For over two years, these mysterious, little red dots baffled astronomers. They didn't fit. Their very existence defied the rules of structure, gravity, and time. And now, as new data continues to pour in, a terrifying possibility is emerging. What if the early universe was governed not by the laws we know, but by a different set of rules altogether? At first, scientists thought it was a glitch. When Webb returned its first images in late 2022, these red dots appeared everywhere, faint, tiny, but absurdly bright. Unlike ordinary galaxies, their redness wasn't caused by the stretching of light over billions of years. They were red because they were smothered in dust, cloaked in thick veils that swallowed every color except the longest, faintest wavelengths. And they weren't rare. They filled Webb's deep fields, scattered like sparks from a cosmic forge. Then came the shocking realization. These objects weren't nearby. They existed just 600 million years after the Big Bang, appearing suddenly, only to vanish less than a billion years later. That window, cosmically speaking, is a heartbeat. Something erupted into being, blazed with impossible intensity, and disappeared without a trace. At first, astronomers assumed they were simply young galaxies, dense star cities born too early. But the math betrayed them. These dots were too small, just 1% the size of our Milky Way, yet somehow brighter than entire galactic cores. Their stellar density was so extreme that stars should have collided, exploded, and ripped the systems apart. And yet, they didn't. They burned brighter, denser, and stranger than anything we'd ever seen. It didn't make sense. Not unless the light wasn't coming from stars at all. The radical idea emerged. What if these weren't galaxies? What if they were monsters, supermassive black holes, born absurdly fast, growing impossibly large, buried inside choking cocoons of dust and gas? The glow wasn't starlight. It was the furious blaze of matter spiraling into black holes so massive they warped spacetime itself. If true, this theory rewrites everything. For decades, we believed galaxies formed first, and that black holes slowly grew within them. But the red dots suggest the opposite. Black holes came first, devouring matter, shaping galaxies around them. In other words, the universe wasn't patiently building galaxies. It was violently carving them into being. Proof came from the hydrogen. When astronomers studied the emission lines of these red dots, they found the gas moving at speeds ten times greater than around the black hole in our own galaxy's center. Nothing but extreme gravity could explain it. These weren't star clusters. They were black hole engines, blazing in silence, their X-rays trapped by thick dust. And then, they vanished. Every last one of them, gone by 1.6 billion years after the Big Bang. Not slowly fading, but transformed, as if the universe itself turned a page. Perhaps they became quasars. Perhaps their fuel ran dry. Or perhaps they collapsed into silent, invisible giants. We may never know, because nothing like them exists today. Yet echoes remain. In the nearby universe, astronomers have found strange compact objects called green peas. They aren't identical, but they share unsettling similarities. 
Could they be the evolutionary cousins of the red dots? Are we seeing the same hidden process repeating in another form? If so, it forces us to confront a haunting truth. The universe may be full of entire phases of cosmic evolution we've never noticed. Entire families of structures may have risen and fallen unseen, leaving behind only faint scars in space-time. The little red dots were never supposed to exist. They were never in the equations. Yet Webb saw them, and in doing so, cracked open a hidden chapter of reality. A chapter where galaxies were born not gently, but violently. Where black holes were not endpoints, but beginnings. And where the laws of physics bent beneath the weight of something deeper, something primal. The universe, it seems, is not a calm and ordered place. It is a battlefield. A wild frontier. A realm where matter, gravity, and time itself play by rules we still don't understand. So what else is out there, hidden in the wavelengths we've barely begun to decode? And if the little red dots were only the first wave